Excuse me, little dog. Hi, right, guys. All right, we are back to reality. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to reality. Uh, I am out of YouTube jail officially. After Bill Gates uh, got me thrown into YouTube jail, but uh, I was out. Having fun, as you might know, I've posted a couple of videos out having fun playing music with my clueless, lovable, normie friends at the old Settlers Music Festival. And then, of course, yesterday, trying to get home from the old Settlers Music Festival, uh, my little camper ending up in a ditch on the side of the road, pretty much. So, anyway, here we are. Back in a blissfully cool and uh, cool, cloudy day in the Lone Star State, and uh, <coughs> back with the little dog. Did not see my little dog for a week, but anyway, uh, w one of the great pleasures of being, uh, you know, off the uh, off the radar and off the grid, as it were, for about a week over the period of, of last week, uh, <clears throat> I got to miss a certain day. A certain day uh, came and went uh, completely under my radar, and I think we all know what day I am talking about uh, last week. I believe it was actually Saturday. Saturday, April, well, the hell was, I don't even know what today is. I think today is Tuesday, and it might be April 26th or something. I don't know what the hell day it is, guys. So I think it was Saturday, April 23rd. And we all know what day uh, that was that came and went with uh, completely under my radar. So I'm just going to have to uh, make a few comments, and we all know what that day is. It is the official name of the day. Let's make sure I've got this right. Uh, what, uh, what is the name of the day? Uh, I am completely unclear what the name, oh, here it is, was Saturday, April 23rd, National Vagina Appreciation Day, National Vagina Appreciation Day, came and went on Saturday, and I'm just now learning that I missed National Vagina Appreciation Day, and I just wanted to let anybody know uh, that I am a great appreciator of vaginas. I probably appreciate vaginas as much as anybody on this planet. Uh, now, of course, I only have some vague memory of what a vagina is. Uh, I have not had a vagina in my life. Uh, when was the last vagina? Uh, and and have a little tales. I but anyway, I, I I just want everyone to know, for the record that your old misogynist, sexist pig, ham on little tail, appreciates the hell out of vaginas or my vague memory of them. But anyway, uh, in, in recognition of National Vagina Appreciation Day, the mainstream media came out with six fascinating facts about vaginas that every woman should know. I, I don't know why they're, they're excluding uh, half the population, six fascinating facts about vaginas. I, I think it should read six fascinating facts about vaginas that every 10-year-old boy should know. I remember on my, on my 14th birthday, I've told this story before that my mother uh, gave me a copy of The Sensuous Man. The Sensuous Man on my 14th birthday, and she told me to read it 
and maybe I would not turn out like my father. So, so this is uh, six fascinating facts about vaginas that every 14-year-old boy should know. I, I, again, it's, I mean, why are, are, are they saying only women should be celebrating National Vagina Appreciation Day? Uh, you know, it's kind of like the flip side of what is that old Woody Allen joke that he uh, that he had to part company with Sigmund Freud because Freud said that penis envy w was only uh, for women. Uh, so that's where, where Woody Allen parted company with Sigmund Freud. It's kind of uh, like, like the, the flip side cousin to that. So anyway, but it's really, uh, since this is six fascinating facts about vaginas that every, I guess, 14-year-old boy should know, uh, I'm just going to, you know, five of them, you know, like, like uh, fact number one, the vagina is self-cleaning. The vagina is sometimes compared to a self-cleaning oven. Now, I think a self-cleaning oven, it did like 600 degrees to get that stink out of there. Uh, but anyway, we're not going to go into, uh, into the vagina is sometimes compared to a self-cleaning oven, which is kind of tied in to uh, the fact that your vagina is not supposed to be odor free. Yes, uh, and we are not going to go there. Uh, that vaginas and vulvas come in all shapes and sizes. Now, they have vulvas, V U L V A S in one spot, but then they say that the plural of vulva is vulvae. V-U-L-V-A-E. Is that vulvae or vulvae? Not going to get in. Uh, I've, I've had that discussion in my uh, video, some straight talk about pussy, where uh, we get into the uh, you, you know, the semantic difference between vaginas and vulvae. So you can go listen to my video, some straight talk about pussy. Uh, here is the depth of the vagina increases during arousal. Uh, I... An aroused vagina. That is, anyway, uh, and the vagina and the vulva are not the same thing. Again, uh, going back to my straight talk about some straight talk about pussy video. It, it, you know, come on, girls. Uh, you know, splitting hairs, splitting pubic hairs. But what I want to talk about is fact number two. Fact number two uh, for, uh, for six fascinating facts about vaginas that every 14-year-old boy should know. And this is a real knee slapper for any man uh, out there. <clears throat> you cannot actually lose anything in your vagina. You cannot actually lose anything in your vagina. Well, we need to, uh, we, we, we need to set the record straight. Uh, as any man knows, uh, you, you sure as shit can lose something in, in, in a vagina, and that's your fucking brain. Okay. You can, uh, there, how many, I, I lost my brain it was Mary Ellen Rinaldi's vagina. Uh, when would that have been? I think it was October 5th, 1975, that I first lost my brain inside a, inside a vagina. And, uh, you know, 
when I went looking for it, and this is the other thing, when I, you know, when I lost my brain in Mary Ellen Rinaldi's vagina uh, back in 1975, and when I finally went looking for my brain to retrieve it, uh, I found all of these other men's brains in Mary Ellen Rinaldi's vagina. I, I had to pick through all of these lost brains, somewhat reclaimed my brain from Mary Ellen Rinaldi's vagina to start things off. I was lost for years in uh, Lynn Macon's vagina, although it might have been Lynn Macon's vulva, uh, e even more than her vagina, but that Lynn Macon's vagina, I lost my brain up there. Good God, how many years did I, did I lose my brain in, in Lynn Macon's vagina? Finally, uh, finally went and reclaimed my brain out of Lynn's vagina. And, you know, periodic types. Now, it, it tends to be less of a problem the, the older you get that it's not quite as easy for a like a 62 year old man to lose his brain in a vagina but of course anybody who has uh, heard me moaning about dulcinea uh, you don't even have to be in a woman's vagina to lose your brain in a woman's vagina <clears throat> uh, you don't even there, there doesn't even have to be any penetration to lose your brain. I lost, <clears throat> when did I lose my brain in Dulcinea's vagina? It was about, <clears throat> are we going on three, is it our three year anniversary or our, our four, I guess it's our three year anniversary uh, coming up uh, <clears throat> since I lost my brain in Dulcinea's vagina. Uh, I'm beginning to go uh, try to get up there and get my brain back out of that one. Uh, I noticed the last video she made for me, uh, she seemed to be uh, trying to wash her. Maybe she was trying to wash Hambone's brain out of her vagina, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe she should have used the, uh, the little spray thing on the end of her shower. But anyway, guys, I just need to set the record straight for all the 14-year-old future sensuous men uh, out there. You most sure as shit can lose something in a vagina. It might not be your vagina that you're losing something in, but, but you better believe that things can be lost uh, in vaginas but now that I have set the record straight, uh, we can uh, go back to uh, appreciating vaginas. And I don't know, as I say, I will probably, the way things are going, I, uh, I, I, I don't see anything on the horizon, any, any personal uh, vagina appreciation in my own life. So I'm just gonna have to go on, go on memory. All right, but I just had to get that off my chest, as it were. So uh, happy vagina appreciation day. What do you think, little dog? Do you appreciate vaginas or not? Bye, guys. Get out there and appreciate a vagina. Wow, you still can.